One of the most mentioned components about self-improvement is the profoundly momentous and infectious effect that introducing and adopting fitness into your life can contribute. Not just for your own physical and mental benefits, but also how those particular effects can carry over both tremendously and extensively towards other important aspects of your life like your career and other creative pursuits. However, one of the most seldomly elaborated parts about fitness to a significant degree, in this self-improvement space particularly, is how exactly does a mere basic form of physical exertion could ever have such a positively significant and crucial effect in drawing the fine line between one man's decision involving life and death. How does plainly moving your body against forms of resistances and opposing forces could ever summon such a compelling and metamorphic form of resolution towards keeping our existence in this world? Well, there are two reasons. The first one is because physical exercise is the simplest and most viscerally tangible form of conquest. All men need a sense of worthwhile and worthy purpose in life, or at least a sense of sincerely confident, appreciable and honourable series of efforts that is propelling himself in the right direction within his life towards a desirable end goal. Basically, the conscious acknowledgement of the light at the end of a long and dark tunnel. And physical exercise specifically is the most unambiguous, accessible and purest form amongst all of those worthy and worthwhile conquests that provides the highest degree of conceivable clarity towards that particular end goal. As every man in this world secretly wishes to become strong and capable, completing a worthwhile conquest or achieving a state of progression within it will always give you an immense sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. Not just narratively, but also biologically as well when it comes to hormonal release, which is always inherently essential for both our sense of self-esteem and self-actualization. And fitness or physical exercise provides you with this particular sensation more effectively and efficiently than any other forms of conquests, simply because of its lack of complications and also due to its very preferably palpable effect for us human beings as we all innately prefer things that can be perceived more viscerally by our five senses. Physical or tangible conquests will always be more preferred and effectively perceived by us than mental or intangible conquests. However, as we all know it, cultivating physical strength is the most effective way to cultivate mental strength, as its tangible nature provides us with the material blueprint to carry over into the intangible and complex world of our thoughts and feelings. A strong mind could lead to a strong body, but a strong body always lead to a strong mind. Which brings us to the second reason. Physical exercise allows us to tap further and deeper into our survival instincts, particularly involving our own sense of self-preservation. The self-preservation instinct is primarily focused on the body itself and its well-being. This includes health, strength, diet, fitness and endurance. It's like a management system for your body. It seeks to find a root cause for problems in the body and it can seek to test the body's endurance to harm or stress. Pain and fear are the integral parts of this mechanism as they act as forms of resistance into which we will inevitably respond to. As we all know it by now, our bodies naturally gravitate to pursue pleasure and seek to avoid resistance. However, the imminent presence of resistance innately compels and motivates us to improvise, adapt, endure and overcome when we have no other choice or options or when our back is against the wall, which will call for the effect of increased strength, mental sharpness and heightened senses from us. Physical exercise, especially lifting heavy weights, though not as profoundly potent in producing the significant or extensive degree of pain and fear than let's say, suffering and nursing an injury or being stranded on a deserted island full of predators, still could relatively and analogically emulate those sensations that compels us to exert ourselves tremendously to eventually allow us to overcome them, like the worrisome sense of fear in us due to the risk of failure and injury when trying to attempt a PR or a PB and the pain stemming from the immense exertion in order to lift that heavy weight to complete the exercise compels us to push ourselves harder than ever before and summoning new feats of yet to be explored capabilities, of which will inevitably be established as we slowly adapt. You don't necessarily have to enjoy it, but you have to do it regardless in order to eventually overwhelm that sensation of pain and fear yourself. This is how the analogy of physical exercise mentally help us prepare to face adversity. 
and how it carries over to other life endeavors when it comes to facing and encountering resistance or obstructions. It unlocks or rather expand and extend our capacity and capability to endure and eventually adjust ourselves to suit our circumstances. It doesn't have to always involve lifting heavy weights. It can also involve running, swimming or climbing, just as long as you are willing to constantly push yourself beyond your initial limitations, no matter how minuscule. As this is extremely critical because if you're not willing to push yourself further beyond your comfort or safety zones, just like anything, it won't allow you to cultivate the necessary attributes to help you overcome the degree of adversities or limitations you are facing. Never underestimate or disregard the evoking effect that physical exercise could bless you with. It is inadvertently transmuting, as it certainly was able to solely and effectively prevent myself from jumping off a balcony and stabbing myself to death with a kitchen knife many years ago. And I'm very confident that a lot of you gentlemen, and women for that matter, have relatively experienced such a circumstance as well and get to witness your own metamorphosis or rebirth into a much more compelling and polarizing individual. I owe pretty much everything to physical exercise or lifting weights in general, so much so that although I'm not religious by any means, I do pledge my eternal loyalty and commitment to it till the day I no longer exist. So if any of you watching and still skeptically wonder how physical exercise can cure majority of your personal issues, I highly suggest you try it out and take it seriously, because trust me, you won't ever regret it. Thank you for watching.